Hi, good morning, good morning. Happy Thursday to you. And thanks so much for getting your day started with us here on Studio 512. I'm Rosie. Thank you for starting your morning with us on this beautiful Thursday. I'm Vasavi, in case you didn't know. This is three-time Grammy Award winner, Wyclef Jean, musician, ah! rapper, actor. Really quick story, in high school, I used to be a latchkey kid. I would come home from school, <laughs> crank up your remix of the Bee Gees, We Trying to Stay Alive, I, and I would dance around in my living room to your music. Thank you so much. Yes, absolutely. I love that you were already doing a little drumming a little Automatic. music for us I this actually morning. was going to start like this. Hey girls, I can see your body moving. Moving. It's driving me crazy. <laughs> and I didn't have the slightest idea until I saw you dancing. And when you woke up on a dance floor, nobody yeah. cannot ignore. Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, so you are here in Austin. Um, uh, for South by Southwest, you have just unveiled Why Clef Goes Back to School yes. mixtape. Uh, and this is volume one, correct? Yes, volume one. And so what's really cool about this project is that you traveled all over the country looking for raw, undiscovered talent, you know, people who don't have millions of followers on YouTube. Yes, yeah. And so I have to ask you this. How do you know when you've recognized raw talent? You know, that it factor that people mm. have that so. is just like, you know, raw talent versus experience. How do you know that? Well, for me, it starts off organic, right? So I started off founding the Fugees. That was my yes. first group. <laughs> yes, um, I just love that. No this big is deal. What we're talking the about Fugees. this morning. Yeah. Oh, yeah. so humble. Yeah. I love it. No, and then you know, after the Fugees, I got a call. It was like, yo, there's four girls in a room, and we need you to go hear them sing to see if they got the it factor, which you ended up talking about right here. I went in the room. The girls sang. And I did the first hit record for them. Those girls happened to be Destiny Child. Oh you know? my, oh, I had yeah. no idea. <laughs> I really did not know this. Yeah. I did not do my research on no, that. No, no, no. That's so that, that's incredible. Why I'm the and the list goes on and on from Mary J to Whitney Houston to Shakira. Um, it, it doesn't stop. So for me, uh, my daddy was a minister. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I guess like when you raised in the church, there's just a, a vibe. I look for um, things that are not on the commercial radar so this was not a reality show but it was the reality so mm. while we was touring the carnival album i went to these uh to these universities because i feel like some of the best talents is like the last year of high school going into college mm. uh me and adam levine yeah maroon five we both went to the same college at different times right five oh, town okay. music college so for me there's two sets of talents. There's what is the commercial version that we see in YouTube, which is great. But then what about the untapped talent with the three views that's the next Amy yep. Winehouse? You know yeah. what I mean? So that's how we look for it. And um, what was the most fun part of this process for you as someone who is already so intrinsically talented yourself, but then here you are trying to pick that talent out. Like, what was that like for you? I mean, it was great because for me, uh, the way that I look at it, so with streaming services, you have, you could put a playlist, everyone could put a playlist, yeah. right? Right. So now as a producer, my playlist is producing music and showing you new undiscovered That's talent, right. yeah. you know? So for me, um, this is, I guess just growing up, whether if it's like if Jay-Z's watching this or Puff's watching, this is just how we came up and I think the longevity I mean, I'm 49, so when you got young kids like Gunner or Young Thug mm -hmm. with songs like Why Clef Jean, I Wanna Work With Why Clef, it's just, so you become like um, timeless, like in the sense of like you just live in the space in the middle because your true belief is music. So I try to look for those artists that I see like a longevity haul in them, you know? Yeah. Yes. And so for our people at home watching mm -hmm. who might be thinking, wait, how do I know if I have that talent? How mm -hmm. do I know if I have that it factor? Even what if it's not yeah, music. Exactly. Or it like could that. be anything, any industry. So what's your advice for them? The it factor is passion. Mm. Right? So my sister's a chef and she's insanely incredible at, 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 at food. And I think um, the, the key to the it factor is passion. You have to find what you love. Because if you're just doing something because you're doing it, then you're going to feel like you're doing it. But if you wake up and you're doing something that you love, you automatically going to do it. Some people are like, yo, Clef, you can say that. You know what I mean, man? You done live in a mansion. <laughs> no, but really, when I worked in a fast food restaurant, you know what I'm saying? Or I used to work, I used to sell hair products in the hood. Did you? Yes, I worked. Um, so hair products, uh, I sold Revlon, Precise, 
human nature, synthetic hair. Like, oh like, my know, goodness. Like, so I'm just saying I always balance two things at once. So for me, I always say, you know, a job's going to be a job. Then make sure that you hustle enough so that you don't lose your passion. Because once you use, lose your creativity for anything, mm. um, sometimes you just feel yourself like just standing still. It's like work, you know what yeah. I mean? And like you don't want to do it anymore. Yeah, so you have to find like passion, what you love, you know? So yeah. even if you're maybe punching a time clock, maybe you're in a job that you don't feel like fulfills you creativity uh, in a creative space, uh, are you saying the side hustle, you need to be focusing on that, putting your passion there? Yeah, I'm saying, like, when I used to be flipping those burgers, I don't want to say the restaurant, because I don't want to give them credit, but I would be flipping the burgers, and I'd be fixing <laughs> it. And then in my brain, in my brain, though, I'm with a guitar at Madison um, Square Garden, you yes. feel me? So you have to, first of all, believe it, and you can think it into existence, but you have to work hard. And, um, and you can't be lazy. Like the grind is a 24 7 yeah. grind mm -hmm. for anything. You know well, I mean? and you're here down for uh, South by Southwest. Have you had a good time? Have you been out there enjoying it? I have, I've had this like my fourth year. It's been pretty insane for me just walking around. Um, the idea of talent all over the place. I mean, this one dude just popped up out of nowhere with a saxophone. You loved it. And just in the yeah. middle of the hall of the hotel. And then he's like, yo, this is my song. And I'm like, this is so incredible, where um, in a lot of indie artists just get to, that their voice can get heard. So it's beautiful. Well, and that's kind of the idea, at least originally for South By, right? It's mm -hmm. the people you haven't heard of yet. Mm -hmm. So I know that it's become a little bit more commercialized. Mm -hmm. We are seeing some big names coming down, like you. Yeah. Um, but I'm so glad that you're here to kind of scout things out. Yeah. And you also have an event tomorrow that we just wanted to quickly mention, right? Uh -huh. March 15th, um, and it's at the Austin Convention Center yes. coming up. And uh, what are you going to be speaking about here? So we'll be speaking about how we created why Clef goes back to school with some of the students joining me oh, cool. and maybe reenact some of the music on stage and um, and hear from them like what the experience is like for them and, and where they heading to, to you know it's all about y'all it's all about them it's all about they telling their stories because someone at home is watching this and they have to be inspired by a normal story mm -hmm. you know what I mean to know that you can do it too you know what I mean so we'll be talking about that that sounds absolutely amazing. And I have to ask, have you tried any good food while you were down here? Um, I've always tried, when I'm in Texas, I, I try the barbecue. Yes. Um, I love it. And with, with barbecue, you can't necessarily state one place, right? Okay. It's like with Texas, you got to just go barbecue. I go to three barbecue places, and, and I don't even want to say no names. But I would say for me, I'm from Haiti. Okay. I'm from the Caribbean, mm -hmm. right? So... Food is my thing, you feel me? But in Food Texas, is all of our things here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We all right. love to yeah. eat. Uh, Y'all definitely got incredible barbecue. Well, that's awesome. good to hear. We're going to pull those three from him and, uh, <laughs> and let you know what they were.